King not going inside, he's going outside. Now the Royal Champion's gonna have to fight the King, but the Queen's gonna help out. Do we use a Headhunter? You got five Headhunters, use a Headhunter. Oh, that Headhunter, both of those were so late. Your Royal Champion lost all of her HP, so did the Queen. The Sui is looking so sloppy. We are in, ladies and gentlemen, with the next matchup here. We got Cha Cha Esports versus Strut, and Cha Cha going in with the Electro Dragons. Oh gosh, that Flame Flinger in the range of the Archer Tower. Bro, it doesn't even look like it's in the circle, but it is. Rip, and he doesn't freeze in time. Yikes. Hey, yikes. The Flame Flinger will at least get the air defense. I think that's really his only goal here. One Dragon Rider trying to snipe the Eagle Artillery early. Okie dokie. Are we going to be able to take it out? Yes, we should. He drags from the other side of the base. Remember, we don't have Battle Blimp. He's relying on a couple of these E-Drags to snipe the Town Hall. Queen's over at 3 o'clock. Walking up toward the top side. Yetis came out of his Flame Flinger. Here come CC troops. There's one more Rage for those E-Dragons. Might need one more Freeze. Yep, perfectly done. Town Hall's frozen with the Inferno Tower. E-Dragons should be able to pick up the Town Hall Chamber. Queen and King along the top side of the base. We still have the Royal Champion to use. Down goal of the CC troops. Town Hall is secured. One more freeze in the core for the air sweeper that's being super annoying. Can the warden snipe that air sweeper? Yes, he will. Queen's still alive, but she got targeted by the ground bow. She's gonna have to go to ability there. She'll take out the ground bow, and hopefully the barbarian king sends his rocket balloons and royal champion from the south side of the base. Skeleton spell is in to help distract the scatter shot as royal champion picks up the inferno tower. Warden and E Dragon are still alive, and it's looking good for Cha Cha Esports with the last freeze spell, with the Swag King ability, over a minute on the clock. It is a triple with the Electro Dragon attack. Nice way to kick things off in this match. Sir Iron is in with a two zaps for a sweeper. And it's gonna be a dragon attack from him, okay. Lots of dragons on the south side of the base. Town Hall way over on the right. There's the Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. Still holding on to this Warden ability. There we go, we pop it right there. The Battle Blimp should make it all the way. We got the Clone Spell, we got the Rage Spell. Tornado Trap pops. Do we have to freeze? Ooh. Ooh. He's not freezing. Only gets three balloons. Okay, an extra two balloons go to the Town Hall. Town Hall secured. King and Queen deployed way over on the left side of the base. Warden taking a lot of red bombs to the face. Do we still have enough dragons alive? He's gonna rage one dragon in the core, freeze again. That dragon's low. I don't know if that spell was worth it. All he gets is the Warden Tower because of it. The three spell space just to grab the Warden Tower. Was that worth it? I don't know. Took out the Road Champion, a Skeleton Spell, a Poison Spell, and a Freeze Spell. There we go with the Poison on the enemy, Royal Champion. <laughs> Popping the King ability as he makes his way toward the top side of the base queen, wrapping her way inside the wall gap there, going toward the Tesla farm. We drop the Skeleton Spell right on top of the multi-targeting Inferno Tower because we want all the Skellies to die right away. Royal Champion getting in toward the Scatter Shot. Still has her ability, but there's a lot of defenses left. There goes her ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. Thank you, ma'am. We need her to take out the multi because Queen cannot reach it unless she beats through a wall, but she's not pathing toward that multi. She's losing HP to the expo. Down goes the world champion. Queen and Unicorn are the only things that we have left to try and get this three star. Queen is low. Unicorn is low. Multi is the biggest threat here. Queen takes the cannon. Queen takes the archer tower with her ability. It looks like it might be enough. Wizard tower drops. She goes inside. We get the elixir storage. We need her ability for the wall. Goes back out for the gold storage. Unicorn's gonna die as soon as she steps up toward the wall. Queen has to go to ability here. Takes the sweeper. Starts beating on the wall. Can she get this multi in time? No more unicorn to heal her up. Ooh, she gets through the wall. Queen versus Inferno Tower. She's low. She's low, low. Two more shots and Queen on one HP. Takes the Inferno Tower and it's a three star. For Strut to start the match. Cha-cha are in with her second attack. 
bringing us some Lalo this time. Is it a Blizz for the Town Hall? It looks like it is. Blimp gets all the way there. We got the Invis. We got the Rage. Gonna get the Expo. Gonna get the Town Hall. We get the Archer Tower, the Gold Storage. We pulled the CC. Did he take out some of the CC troops? Yes. Sniped half the Archers. That's cool. <laughs> Baby Dragon King have been deployed. Queen as well. There's the Poison Spell. Ooh. King, where are you going, bro? What the? What the? He still walked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this homie just swagged both invisibilities trying to get King to go back to the left, and he just wasted them. Oh, jeez. Queen takes the cannon, takes the elixir collector, going in for the left side scatter shot. Can she at least get the enemy royal champion with her ability? How much can the royal champion get? Mm, yes, Queen will pick up the enemy RC. RC popped her ability, gets the inferno tower, distracted by skellies. Ooh, does she get that air defense? Yes, she does. Clutch. But we did not kill the enemy queen. We do have three more headhunters to help. Can you make this work? We're going to Lalo opposite side of the queen. It's going to be difficult to get headhunters to take her out because of this. But he really wants that eagle down early. Ooh, there's a bunch of red bombs on his balloons on the top side. Freezes the sweeper with the inferno tower. More red bombs on the upper side of the base. We're going to haste. One more freeze. Pops Warden ability while the freeze was in. I don't know if that was the best Warden ability. In fact, I'm 100% sure it was not the best Warden ability. There he goes with the next freeze. Haste with the top right side. Headhunters are in. They need to take out that queen. One more freeze in the core. Test the farm on the right side of the base. There's our last haste. Our Warden goes down, but Headhunter sniped the Archer Queen. But the balloons all pop. It's gonna be a defense. For boom and just like that strut have a chance to take the lead with their next attack they need to get a three star to really take advantage of this defense owl stuck on the king in the middle he's gonna go down minions can take an extra building or two on the outside of the base but it's gonna fall short you're at 86 percent nice try asked is in bringing us a little ice hound lalo with no wall breakers we're going with the skelly bat donut to kick things off trying to go for two inferno towers and the clan castle and he's gonna get all three nice start here from ass perfectly executed giant with queen on the top side of the base king on the right looks like we're trying to get queen to walk all the way down to the town hall here Sneaky Goblin to help push the king toward the expo. Couple balloons to funnel some buildings on the outside of the base that should hopefully push the queen inside the wall gap. See if it works perfectly. It's looking good so far. Queen goes in for the air defense. King can get the expo and does that send queen back around to the other compartment? That king ability was late. Queen's gonna walk down, but I think she goes back up after the sweeper's dead. No, but King goes for the Town Hall. Lol, we'll invis him. Nice reactions on the fly. Does King get it? Might need a freeze. Might need a freeze. Est. 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 Ah! <laughs> Duh. Rip the homie. Town Hall stays up, but he's just going to drop the Flame Flinger on it. Queen, Royal Champion on the right side, clear another compartment. We're gonna Lalo straight through the Eagle with the Warden. Gonna have to get Headhunters to target all these enemy heroes. Actually, the Queen takes out the Royal Champion for us. We're gonna send the Headhunters to the Queen. We're gonna raise through the Eagle. Ice Hound's freezing everything up. That's looking decent. Flame Flinger did take out the Town Hall, but it means we have no Slammer for later. We're still holding on to this Warden ability. Pop it as the balloons are making their way into the Scatter Shot, into the multi targeting Inferno Tower. Tesla Farm on the back end. Could be a lot of red bombs over there. But he's got spells, he's got a flame flinger, and he's got a lot of balloons to get through all of this. There goes the last freeze, the last haste, two more balloons on the left side of the base. It's looking wrecked for ass. Nice adjustment on the fly when king and queen swap directions. He's still able to get it done, switching to the flame flinger. It's a lot of value on the top left. It's absolutely crushed. 
another three star for Strut, and they take the lead six stars to five. Cha Cha Esports with their third attack. They need to triple again to put some pressure back on Strut. Let's see if they can do it. Queen charge Lalo against Sir Iron's base. King to go in toward the Eagle Artillery. Baby Dragon Balloons to help funnel him in. Queen over here at 430 to walk toward this big open section. Cool. King goes up for the storage. Queen's gonna end up fighting the enemy king very soon. We do have a headhunter to help support. King grabs the eagle. Now can King go in toward that expo or is he gonna skip it? You can see with these balloons, he's trying to funnel that cannon in time to push the king toward the expo. Is it gonna work? Only two balloons there, and yes! King goes down to the expo just in time. That was actually pretty clutch. Otherwise, they would have switched to the queen. She would have had a lot of extra damage on her. Queen finds a bunch of Teslas down south. Scattershot doing quite a bit of damage. One more Coco Loon is in. King took out mm, some of the CC troops. One headhunter still alive. Lava Hound, of course, as the king cannot reach that. Poison spell. Next rage is in. Now, what are we going to do about this multi? Well, that answers that. Log launcher for the multi. More balloons at 6 o'clock, even though the queen's going to go down there anyway. I feel like he's wasting a lot of balloons. But at least there's less damage on the queen now. Freeze for the multi. Hi. I guess just so the yeti, the log launcher gets far enough for the yetis to go snipe the queen. That wall break just busts open the corner even more. Even more balloons to funnel. He's only got 13 balloons for this Lalo. And here we go from the top side. Little baby Lalo with the warden ability right away. A minute and nine on the clock. You know how many seconds that is. <laughs> uh, we get to the enemy royal champion on the top side with those headhunters. Queen will be able to one tap the enemy archer queen. We're gonna freeze the multi on the right. We're gonna rage up the Archer Queen on the left. We still got a lot of spells to use. I do think he started the Lalo just a, sec a few seconds too early. Because now the Giga Inferno is gonna have time to roast all of his balloons. He's gonna pop Queen Ability just to get the Town Hall dead a little bit earlier. And that works. Almost all the balloons are dead. We're gonna rage up the Royal Champion to get through all these defenses on the left side of the base, but she's distracted by Air Skellies for now. Her and the Warden making their way over to the Expo. Down it goes. We don't have the RC ability. We got a Haste spell. Multi Inferno still alive on the right side of the base. This baby Archer Tower does too much damage to the RC. Is there a chance this could be a defense? Healer switch to the Royal Champion for a few seconds. Oh, that's OP. Haste spell the Royal Champion. Get her in there. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. Four shot. Five shot. Six shot when she's on one HP. And it's gonna work for Simplex. Another triple for Cha Cha Esports. Boom! The captain of Strut in with little Zappy. Zappy Lalo. Getting rid of two Inferno Towers in the core of the base. Wall Wrecker with the skeleton spell for the town hall. The goblins target the town hall. Oh, they're targeting gold storages, elixir storages? No. How did they split? That's weird. Some of them targeted the town hall. One of them targeted an elixir storage. That's interesting. But town hall goes down. Pull the CC troops over to the right. Poison spell is in. Queen will be able to deal with the lava hound. Okay. Down goes the Lava Hound. Now Queen will take two to three business days. Eventually she'll get through the Lava Pups. Now what's the plan here with the Sui? We got two Dragon Riders to help out the Lalo. King Queen gonna walk down and in toward the enemy Archer Queen. There's the Wall Break. He's got two more Wall Breakers. Skeleton Spell, Headhunter to help support. Where do we send the Royal Champion? He goes up for the Archer Tower, then she should go back down. Dragon Rider to take out these defenses on the right, and it should stay alive all the way to the Eagles. Second Dragon Rider to help support. Now he's got two more Wall Breakers, but he was expecting this King and Queen to like go clear all the Expos. Do they have enough HP? I don't think they do. Royal Champion on the top side as well. 
Gary with the Lalo from the top left side of the base. Drop your warden. There you go. Headhunter, Hound, Warden ability right away. Haste spell is in. Dragon Rider still working on the Eagle, but two Builder Huts are repairing it. I don't think he really got much value at all from those wall breaks, so was it worth it? In hindsight, probably not. One more haste over on the left side of the base. Freezy spell for the core. Road champion fighting the enemy king. She's gonna have to pop ability and die. We didn't save any headhunters for that. Still got her one and only Lava Hound alive though. It's looking decent. One more freeze in the middle. We're hitting lots of red bombs, but luckily the balloons are not all clumped up in one spot. Tornado Trap spinning us in circles, but the plan was just too good. Does he have enough time for the cleanup? 27 seconds. Minion on the top side. One Valkyrie for these storages. Could get close. No, the balloons are going down for the storages. He's got it. Nicely done from Boom of Strut. They are going to be able to maintain their triple train as they get another three star and keep the lead over Cha Cha. Nine stars to eight. King with the next attack for Cha Cha. Queen Charge Hybrid here. It's simple yet again. They need to three star or else Strut are gonna be feeling really confident in this match. But if Cha-Cha can get another three star with this attack, pressure is still on Strut to keep three starring. Little wall breaker to bust open the corner even more. So Queen has better access to the town hall. We drop her at on the right side at six o'clock. Yeti on the left to snipe the cannon. All right. Hello, outside tornado trap. Interesting. Queen gets the storage. Does she step right for the Builder Hut? Yeah. Oh, we need an invis. Need an invis. Buddy, buddy. Ooh, okay, that'll work. Should have let her get the air defense first, though. And then invis the other buildings. If that air defense ends up hitting healers, it's going to be sad news. Queen will take the town hall, and then she's going to step left. This air defense could be a problem later. Keep an eye on it. Single target in front of tower behind the town hall. But he doesn't care. He's just gonna go ahead and start the king, start the siege barracks, full send the hybrid, yellow the rest. Here we go, woo! Fog riders are in, miners are in. First healing spell to keep us all at full health going into the first compartment. Queen steps inside the Giga Juice. Inside the single target in front of tower range. We freeze, we rage. Air defense is hitting healers, exactly like I called earlier. Next freeze is in. At least we got a couple miners to split off, take out the air defense. We lo did lose like two healers though. More hogs coming out of the siege barracks. King still alive with ability in the eagle artillery compartment. A couple miners distracting that single target in front of tower. We're going to pop warden ability. Miners and warden split in so many different ways. It's getting a little wonky. Ooh, did that rage even help anything? Okay, the hogs from the siege barracks go into the rage. Royal champion will go into the rage. Wish we had a headhunter to help get through that enemy king. He's still at almost full health. Queen just beating on a wall. We only got one healer left. Oh, it's fizzling out fast. I think his troops hit a lot of spring traps there as well. Yikes. And then Queen gets distracted by the skellies. And then goes back over for the Inferno Tower. All of the hybrid is dead. There's a lot of base left. Queen has no unicorn. Queen has no healers. This is a huge defense for a singing sword. Of strut. Yo, whose account is this? It's just one of their alts? I don't know. Queen pops her ability. She will pick up a few more defenses, but that's the problem with starting the hybrid too early on a lot of these bases, is the base is going to be still very widespread and your hybrid ends up splitting into major sections and it can be really rough. This kind of yikes. Archer's picked up another building, but it's gonna fall short here at 74. Trihod is in with a lot of Inferno baby dragons, 16 of them against this base. Two lightning spells for an air sweeper. Inferno babies from the top right. There we go. With the battle blimp, gotta go all the way for the town hall. It's got a long ways to travel. Warden ability right away. Queen up at 12 o'clock. Battle blimp. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, super minions. Okay, cool. Invis. Clone. Rage. They snipe the Archer Queen. They snipe the Royal Champion. They get one Inferno Tower. They get the Town Hall. Hello, Tornado Trap. It's going to spin most of them into their death, but holy value. That's why I love super minions. Way better than super archers for this kind of attack. Look at how much they got. Jeez. 
King over on the top left to help the Archer Queen. Most of the Inferno babies made their way up there. In fact, most of them died in the core. Ooh, that's awkward. So the CC building up, and there could be a Lava Hound in there. So he actually could be in trouble here. <clears throat> Queen might have to pop ability here to take out the enemy King, and yep, here comes that Lava Dog. Queen will take care of that, though, pretty quickly as she's still in her ability. We don't have a Poison spell, but... We got enough archers, warden, royal champion, a minion to help support. Down go the pups pretty quickly. Warden's low on health. King still has his ability. Royal champion also has her ability, and we got two spells. Is there a chance this could still three star? The unicorn's getting the queen back up to full health. This might have a chance. Ground bow's gonna do a lot of damage, so he's actually gonna freeze that. Save the invis spell for later. Pop the royal champ ability there. Okay. Ooh. Gonna get so close. Yak distracting the archer tower. Feel like it has a chance, but he might not get it. We go with the invis early on the royal champion to not take any damage from the cannon. She gets the mortar. Going for the inferno, but the expo locks on. Oh, down goes the royal champion. I don't think he gets it, does he? No queen ability left. Warden dies to a trap. Queen's at full health, but without the ability, the single target in front of the tower is just gonna beam her. Locks onto the yak first. Plenty of time on the clock. Locks onto the unicorn next. But queen has to go through the expo before she can target the inferno tower. Inferno tower has enough time to heat up and it's gonna be a 99% for tryhard rip. Cha-cha with their last attack. They can get 13 stars here if they three star again, but that's gonna be their best case scenario. And Strut are looking like they might put up 14. Flame Flinger into an Electro Dragon attack again. Those sneakies on the top side did not quite get the storage though. Did he just not bring enough sneakies? Not sure. Flame Flinger's getting some value on the south side. That mortar's gonna be rough. That's why we're using the barbarians to distract. Cool. Although he needs another one. That barbarian was too early. There we go. Nicely timed on that barbarian. Flame Flinger will get a shot off on the mortar. Oh, but the mortar retargets as the barbarian got pushed outside the range. That's okay. Flame Flinger would just take like two hits. Not that big of a deal. And here we go with the E-Drags from the top right side. Queen at 12 o'clock. We'll be impatient with the Warden ability. Nope, we're gonna pop it right there. Double Rage setup. Look, the Queen was a couple seconds late. Now some of the E-Drags are peeling away from the Town Hall. Although maybe that works out better so they don't all go into the Giga Poison. Poison spell for some of these enemy CC troops. Warden goes right into the Giga Poison. That's going to be rough. Tornado Trap behind. King Queen together on the left side. Going to have to go into the Tesla Farm. Flame Flinger finally working on the Eagle. Oh, they're all so low. They all die in the core. Rip all of his troops. Ugh, that did not look great. That freeze on the other Inferno Tower in the middle was a little late. Yetis. Fighting the enemy king, the Yeti Mites will get the Eagle Artillery. We pop queen or we pop king ability on the Tesla farm on the left. The Royal Champion's in on the right. Got one more freeze, but the Lava Hound comes out of the CC. As soon as that goes to the Royal Champion, he's in big trouble. Nice RC shield though, takes out a bunch of defenses. Queen goes through ability on a bunch of trash buildings because of the giant bomb rip. It's actually super close, but he's not going to get it, is he? That one expo is going to be doing a lot of damage to the queen. He decides to use the freeze to try and help the royal champion here. But she still dies to the lava pups with no poison. It's rough. Yikes. going to be really good percent, but a couple of defenses live to tell the tale. Rip this homie's attack, and it's going to be a 12-star performance from Cha-Cha today. Singing sword is in with the final attack for Strut. Coming in with the Skelly Donut. Lalo, perhaps? Yes. Invis, Rage, Skeleton, Bat, Invis. 
Invis. Down goes the multi. One more invis. Ooh, those skellies all almost died. But he gets the clan castle building nicely done so far. The start has been perfect. King on the top side with some sneakies to funnel the right. Was the road champion supposed to push the king inside toward the eagle? I think so. I think he messed that up. King not going inside. He's going outside. Now the road champion's going to have to fight the king. But the queen's going to help out. Do we use a headhunter? You got five headhunters. Use a headhunter. Oh, that headhunter. Both of those were so late. Your royal champion lost all of her HP. So did the queen. As the other defenses on the right were locked onto her. Oh, gosh. There goes the queen ability. The Sui is looking so sloppy. I think queen was supposed to get the town hall. She's not even going to get there, is she? Ooh. <clears throat> He might get there, but without the ability, without any more invis, this is going to be so rough. There's a Tesla farm on the right. Yeah, Queen's going to die. He's going to have to lolo into the town hall. This is going to be rough. Ice Town pops, but does not freeze the town hall. We freeze the town hall. We haste. Balloons making their way in. Hello, Tornado Trap. Oh, gosh. Whew. Warden ability, stone slammer on the south side, queen going in, got one more freeze, one more haste, we decide to freeze the inferno tower, queen dies in the giga poison, stone slammer takes out the scatter shot, we get through the air defense on the south side of the base, he's still going to pick up decent percent after all that, oh gosh that felt so sloppy though. Minions on the left, still getting more buildings, stone slammer still at like half health. Pushing along in toward the Inferno Tower chamber. What's in his slammer, dude? Is there a chance he still triples here? No way. Down goes the Royal Champion. <clears throat> Balloons make their way into the Expo. We got a scatter shot. We got an air defense. No way he saved this, bro. Oh, Seeking Air Might hits his Dragon Rider. Warden, go for the air defense. Warden, go for the air defense. He does. No, he switches to the Mortar. But we got lots of pops. They collapse on the air defense. Down it goes. And he actually saved this. What? Bro. Jeez. What a nice attack, I guess, from Singing Sword. I don't know how he saved that. But he did. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. He still picks up the three star and strut finish with a 14 star performance and their only fail was a 99 percent ggs they get the victory 14 to 12 99.8 to 90.8